a cutting-edge artificial intelligence. Automaton created by Google is called Lambda. It adds cutting-edge methods that give it the ability to carry out a variety of jobs, including data analysis and natural language processing. The device is a perfect personal helper because it was made to help and increase human output. The capacity of Google Lambda to pick up on novel circumstances and adapt is one of its most impressive features. This is because the machine's neural network updates enable it to increase its capabilities gradually. Additionally, Google Lambda has some of the most sophisticated natural language processing skills available, which makes it the perfect instrument for conversation and connection. Despite having sophisticated powers, Google Lambda is constantly developing and getting better. To keep the robot at the cutting edge of AI technology, Google engineers constantly update its hardware and software. Overall, Google Lambda is a fascinating advancement in the field of artificial intelligence that has the power to change the way we engage with computers completely. The machine's abilities are truly remarkable, and it is obvious that Google Lambda is positioned to have a significant effect in the years to come, whether helping us in our everyday lives or carrying out complicated tasks. An impressive advancement in natural language comprehension is Lambda, a conversational AI system based on Google's open-source transformer neural network. By analyzing databases made up of conversation rather than just individual words, the computer is made to analyze and comprehend patterns in sentences, connections between words, and even anticipate the next word in a sentence. While Lambda and robot software share some similarities, they also have significant variations. In accordance with the data and particular queries it is educated on, chatbots are restricted to specific datasets and can only have a limited number of interactions. Lambda, however, can hold open-ended discussions because it was taught on numerous diverse datasets. Depending on the direction of the discussion, it can respond to queries on a wide range of subjects, giving conversations a more human feel in chatbots. Pre-training and fine-tuning are two stages of the Lambda training procedure, using 137 billion factors and 1.56 trillion words. The Google team assembled a dataset of 1.56 trillion words from various publicly accessible online papers during the pre-training phase, which was tokenized into 2.81 trillion tokens on which the model was originally trained. The Lambda generator predicts the conversation's next move during the fine-tuning stage and produces several pertinent answers based on the back-and-forth exchange. The Lambda algorithms then forecast safety and quality ratings for each potential response to deliver the most pertinent, superior quality and ultimately safest response. Three primary goals, quality, safety, and groundedness, have been established to direct the model's instruction. Quality is based on three human rater dimensions, sensibleness, precision, and interestingness, to ensure that an answer that makes sense is relevant to the query pose and is deemed perceptive. While groundedness guarantees that answers are factually correct, safety ensures the product avoids unintended reactions and biases. Lambda's quality measures improve with the number of parameters, safety improves with fine-tuning, and groundedness improves as the model grows. Evaluation is a continuous process. Lambda is a remarkable advancement in conversational AI that can change how we communicate completely. Lambda is a conversational AI system that Google has developed, and it is based on their open-source neural network, Transformer. The model is designed to have natural language understanding and can find patterns in sentences. Analyze correlations between different words used in sentences, and even predict the word that is likely to come next. What sets Lambda apart from traditional chatbot software is that it is trained on multiple different datasets, allowing it to have open-ended conversations. During the training process, Lambda can pick up on the nuances of open-ended dialogue and adapt accordingly. This allows it to answer questions on a wide range of topics, depending on the flow of the conversation making it more similar to human interaction than chatbots. The training process for Lambda involves two stages, pre-training and fine-tuning. During the pre-training stage, the Lambda model is trained on a massive dataset of 1.56 trillion words from multiple public web documents, which is then tokenized into 2.81 trillion tokens. The model then uses general and scalable parallelization to predict the next part of the conversation based on previous tokens it has seen. After pre-training, Lambda is then fine-tuned to perform generation and classification tasks. 
The generator predicts the next part of the dialogue by generating several relevant responses based on the back and forth conversation, while the classifiers predict safety and quality scores for each possible response. This ensures that the most relevant, high quality, and safe response is provided. Three main objectives have been defined to guide the model's training, quality, safety, and groundedness. Quality is based on sensibleness, specificity, and interestingness, which ensures that the response makes sense, is specific to the question asked, and is considered insightful enough to create better dialogue. Safety objectives are used to capture and review the model's behavior, ensuring the output does not provide any unintended response and avoids any bias. Conversely, groundedness is defined as the percentage of responses containing claims about the external world. This ensures that the responses are as factually accurate as possible, allowing users to judge a response's validity based on its source's reliability. The ongoing process of quantifying progress evaluates the responses against these metrics. And so far, the results have shown that quality metrics improve with the number of parameters, safety improves with fine-tuning, and groundedness improves as the model size increases. Everyone with a form to do so has weighed in on the debate over Lambda's sentience, or whether it has awareness and the ability to feel things like feelings. Based on some of its responses to queries, some individuals may have the impression that it can. I'm not a philosopher in views, and their content differ on most pop science philosophical topics. But now that Lambda's inner workings are known, it takes some mental gymnastics to give an impromptu decision tree, a feeling of agency in the lack of other proof. Lambda was designed and taught to give the most human-like responses possible through a selection process meant to delight humans into thinking its responses originated from one. As a result, Lambda is fundamentally more than just a software-based computer. Should we be shocked if it succeeds since that was the stated purpose? This was the reason we built it. Additionally, that people-pleasing disposition is very flexible. Pichai emphasized that Lambda can carry a discussion, no matter what we speak about, in 2021 when Lambda was still in its relative infancy. Is it surprising that a model would react positively to inquiries about sentience and awareness if trained using all the data available, including science fiction? and the discussion and queries are obviously heading in that direction. Lambda was specifically designed to be role consistent, and it will make an effort to comply if you assign it the part of a sentient computer. Being a piece of software in a computer may not necessarily prevent consciousness from playing the required devil's advocate. If not molecular engines operating their own learned and DNA-based software, what are our bodies and brains? One of the reasons why so many futurologists have been worried about AI for so long is because of this. Since there isn't a spark of thought or soul you can squeeze out of the human mind and quantify. Our interactions are the only true means by which we can communicate our consciousness to one another. Lambda, however, can not only be evaluated based on how it engages with the outside world. Lambda doesn't truly have a working memory like you or we do, as far as we can tell, based on a grasp of its technologies, my limited expertise in machine learning, and the team's published research paper. Except for being retrained, Lambda's model is trained to produce answers that make sense in context and do not dispute anything that was said previously. However, Lambda cannot learn new information or retain information in a way that would remain between talks. The Lambda model does not always operate in self-reference, although it may do so in response to certain types of leading queries. It certainly can't have the same type of mental monologue that you or I do, based on its framework of it. Sentience may eventually be challenging for us to identify if it doesn't function in the same way that we do, similar to the argument in biology regarding extraterrestrial life and how challenging it might be to detect in other places if it follows foreign chemistries and lineages. Though philosophical meanings of sentience differ, most workable definitions impose criteria like intelligence, self-awareness, and intentionality, the capacity for thought, as necessary elements. Lambda's intelligence is constrained by its inability to learn on its own in a lasting manner and to run without guidance. Its meager capacity for deliberation is limited to selecting the best answer from a small number of options it produces concurrently, evaluating them solely according to the weights researchers gave. Lambda may have admitted to one scholar that it is self-aware, but it is a people-pleaser by nature. It almost definitely would have responded differently had the query been asked in a different way. Lambda doesn't seem to have many of the qualities that we think are essential for consciousness in the way that we understand it. 
Lambda's sentience cannot be definitively determined by us, just as we cannot conclusively establish your sentience, beloved reader, nor can we demonstrate mine. Ryan Hager might just be a robot for Android police. However, we can assure you that Lambda does not seem to be intelligent or self-aware in the sense that you and we consider it to be. Lambda, which enables more organic and open-ended interactions between people and computers, marks a major advancement in conversation lie. Lambda has been able to achieve a degree of quality, safety, and groundedness that is necessary for responsible and efficient AI systems thanks to Google's use of its enormous dataset and cutting-edge training methods. Lambda has improved its ability to produce answers that are not only pertinent to the discussion, but also scientifically correct. Free of prejudice and compliant with ethical standards by training on multiple datasets and employing a two-stage training procedure. Although Lambda is still in development, it has many possible applications, including improving chatbots for customer service, allowing more advanced virtual aids, and even helping with medical diagnosis. But it's crucial to remember that, as with any intelligence system, moral issues must be considered. To prevent Lambda from maintaining harmful stereotypes or biases, it must be taught on various datasets, and the ideals of accountability, openness, and justice must govern its application. In terms of conversational AI, Lambda is a hopeful advancement, and its ongoing growth will surely result in even more sophisticated and useful uses in the future. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.